what's going on everybody welcome to episode 42 of our tottenham career mode and today we have got a couple of games in the league as we look to get back on top of the premier league table with stoke and brighton and then we've got atletico madrid in the second leg of our round of 16 tie after we won the away leg 2-0 so a couple of big games and as you can see in the table we are two points back at United, but we have our game in hand, and our game in hand is Stoke as of this moment in time. So hopefully, we can go ahead and retake the lead at the top of the table. We're going to have to make some changes to the team. Um, as you can see, a lot of tired legs out here, so we're going to have to change some things up. D.O.R. in, who's been playing pretty well. De Young, take him out of the team. Got two center backs ready to go. For Tonyan. We can bring Winks. Who else can we bring? Xavier has been growing quite well. I haven't played him too much, so we can come and play. So hopefully we'll just put him in for Dembele. We'll we'll just start him. We'll start him and see what goes on. But other than that, the team's okay. Let's jump into it. Tottenham and Stoke. Nice. Ooh, unlucky, but Ericsson does well. Gets it back. One more. Can we get it out there? Yes, we can. It's Son. Oh, I thought that one gone in. I thought that snuck in. Son, very close. Nicely done. Back inside. It's Kane. Back out. Diawara has a decent opportunity, and it's a great hit. And he's been playing quite well lately after I didn't really keep him in the side for too, too long. And then he requested a transfer. We didn't let it go because we would have needed to buy another and then he's been playing a little bit more lately and playing well. And that is a great strike to open the scoring here. And he's just smacked that with his left foot. Let it roll onto it and took a swipe. And it fired it into the back of the net. 18 minutes gone. It's 1-0. No. Oh, it's come to him somehow. Oh, and then... Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, 1-1. One, one. He's let that roll in behind him where he messed it up and just turned around and got to it. But that ball, it looked like he was going to try and get to it. Look at that. He's just let it roll. Juke the guy in behind him there. And then he had a smack at it. It's a good goal. Neat little move. 1-1. One, one. Nice ball over the top. It's Xavier here. Can he get his first goal? And not quite. Almost. Right after the kickoff. It's a decent ball over the top. It's going to come to Yenonacho. We're going to have a chance. Nicely done. Penalty? Oh, he didn't fall. And then he hit it back. Damn it. <laughs> Unreal. And we go into halftime level at one. We had an opportunity there. And then I thought he was going to fall over. That would have been a definite penalty. And uh, unlucky, 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 as we are going to need another striker, and we'll bring Martial on. And then Bailey can get the second half. So let's jump into the second half. Hopefully we can grab ourselves the lead. Nice. Diawara here. One more. Lovely. One more. Can we get it there? And it's Xavier looking for his first goal for the club, and he's put it in. And on his debut, he grabs himself his first goal. It's a really good finish, low away, in off the post, no chance whatsoever for the goalkeeper, and it's a lovely little move as well, and it's nicely done, good ball out there, good run, drew the defender in, and a great finish from Xavier, we've got a 2-1 lead, half hour to go, they've got players forward, and he's come through, oh, what a humongous save, they had a bunch of men forward, just... <laughs> Just prayed to God that the goalie was going to get that if I dragged him out. Jeez, surely though, he's got the punch a little bit better than that. We got a bit lucky there. Half or 20 minutes to go. Nice, lovely ball. Xavier, surely. Oh, very close. I was going to say surely not two on his debut, but that was not far away. Nice take inside from Diawara. Gets it out to Ian Nacho. Ian Nacho in a good spot. And it's in the back of the net. It's 3-1. And hopefully that is game over here. The third of the night gives us a two-goal advantage with nine minutes to go. A big old goal. And it's a good ball back. Nice. And he kicks it. Ooh. It hit the defender there. I'm not sure if that would have gone over or not. Perhaps not. I think it would have been close. 
but either way we'll take the deflection 3-1 and with 30 seconds 20 seconds to go this is game over surely blow the whistle or don't blow the whistle fine but we are going to still collect the win 3-1 here and we are back on top of the table we've got Brighton next and then hopefully United drop some points perhaps in the next game we'll see but we got to keep on winning with a one point lead and hopefully we can keep doing that as United have drawn and there it is there's some points dropped as they've drawn with Bournemouth so if we beat Brighton we can get three points ahead they should be level with us now they are level and we've got the better goal difference now so after that huge win the other day but we've got the goal difference now and a win here will take it to three points plus the goal difference which would be a massive massive advantage as we move forward into the end of the year but I'm gonna rest this is gonna be difficult because we have athletic going a couple days um, Aurea can definitely play so can Tierney who hasn't played in a bit um, Winks can come into the side play Winks and Neves in midfield and then left can be yeah we'll do the Sun by thing again we'll definitely try that and Giorgio doesn't want to leave the club is here but other than that we don't have too much in that position um, also play Lucas as well so let's jump into the team or into the game I mean with this team and we've got Tottenham and Brighton a win here will give us a little bit of space between um, us and United lovely stuff here's Graylish making a really good run Graylish leads it oh he saved that okay that is a really good save it must have caught it with his foot I thought that was an easy goal oh, I can't believe we didn't finish that chance what a counter-attack Oh, wow, that's really good football. A really good finish to boot. Knew that finish was coming, but Jesus, how did that ball get to him? That was some really slick passing. Ugh, and Brighton have taken the lead. Not good, not good. 15 minutes gone. The, the passing move was something else. Here it is. Look at that. I don't even know. <laughs> Still don't know how number seven moved that ball on. Unbelievable. 1-0. Nice. One more. Excellent. There, that's lovely football here. Graylish. Couldn't find anything. Oh, he smashed the bow. Oof. Smashed the post and the bar at the bow. And uh, Harry Kane grabs the equalizer with the header. That was a really good move. And then we got to the end there, and I thought we had messed it up. Graylish, I could have taken a touch inside. No, maybe not, but difficult position. And Son is a really good hit. Uh, just off the post, but Harry Kane grabs the equalizer. 26 minutes gone, 1-1. One, one. Nice. Really nice. Can we do something here before the end of the half? As Kane has a hit, and it's a good save. Straight at him, to be fair, but a decent opportunity. Would have been caught if I had taken a touch, I feel. And it looks like we're going to go into halftime level at 1, but we'll have an opportunity. And that's a really good tackle. And 1-1 one, one at the break, just like the Stoke game, but hopefully we can go ahead and do the same thing. Grab some points in the second half, or grab uh, some goals in the second half, and hopefully take the three points. And we're going to move Sun and uh, bring on Havertz, too. It's those two positions in the, in the two wings in the attacking midfield spot that always run out of stamina. Havertz find space has an attempt and ooh, the deflection took it right over the goalkeeper not far away De Jong did well to find Havertz back across one more nicely done it's a good run from Havertz and he's scored the goal another one who's come on quite a bit lately from him and Diawara who have come a long way in the last month or so and started to play really well in this Tottenham team and that's another good, really good finish. Low and away, Havertz. He's changed the game a little bit since he's come on. And with 20 minutes to go, we, we're 2-1 up. Nice. Found it. Lovely stuff. It's De Jong. De Jong. Oh, couldn't get that past the goalie. Oh, that could have put us in a really good spot. And the ball comes up, and it's headed away. And another corner to come in. 
And can we do something with this as Kane gets a header on it? And there it is, the third goal we could have just had. It's finally come, 3-1. And just like the Stoke game, 1-1 at half, 3-1 in the second. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And we, at the moment, are going three points clear of United. Nice takeaway. De Jong out wide here. He's going to find Lucas in space. Lucas cuts back, finds him. Depay. 4-1. And that surely is game over. An absolute blitz in the last 10 or so minutes. And we have scored three unanswered here from Brighton. Or four, really. They scored first, but three this second half. Really nicely done. It's a good finish. Good cut back. Lucas doing really well. This 4-1. And this should be game over. Blow the whistle. There it is. A 4-1 victory over Brighton. A very good second half and a quick little time there where we scored all our goals. A 10 minute span. Three goals. Excellent, excellent, excellent burst. And that gives us a three point lead plus goal difference at the top of the table. And that's a very, very nice thing to have to, as we go into March. Now, though, we have got ourselves the second leg of the Atletico Madrid tie. We won the away leg 2-0, but of course, Atletico Madrid are never out of it. Got Griezmann and Costa up front, a very dangerous duo. Very deadly, so we still got to be completely up for this. And here comes Atletico Madrid as... Finally, someone will take Giorgio. Hopefully, maybe Sterling too, but don't hold out hope. And here they come. Let's see who we're going to play today. We're definitely going to play Kane. And then we'll... Uh, we're playing green? Yeah, we're playing green and we're playing red and white. So Alderweireld will need to come out. And we'll bring Vertonghen in. And then left midfield will do Martial. And Striker. Everyone's kind of tired. Ian Nacho. The OR onto the bench. Everts. Yeah, everyone's still sort of tired. So we'll go with this team. We'll just have to pound it out. Let's jump into it. Tottenham. Atletico Madrid second leg. Let's go. Lovely. And can we get out wide there? Yes, we can. Deli Alley. And it's Martial into space. I don't know where the Atletico Madrid's defense has gone. And it's Martial. And oh, that is not far away. It's a good save. Nicely done by Dembele. He finds Ericsson who cuts it back. Oh, that's gone in the back of the net. That's gone in the back of the net. It's Ericsson who tried to play the cross. It's deflected off an Atletico Madrid player and right through the legs of Oblak. That is incredibly unfortunate. Look at this. Just smacked it across and it just went right through his legs, Oblak. Oh, man, unlucky. Just stuck his foot out to get something on it. <laughs> right through his legs. An absurd way to take a 1-0 lead, but Manalas gives us that right there. God, I've messed up the way I should have went around saying that, but we'll live with it. 1-0. Nice, good ball. Let's come back to Iannaccio. Iannaccio in space. Oh, dreadful finish. He's not very good at those low things, uh, Martial. Or not Martial, Iannaccio. It's a good opportunity. Bad finish. Come Atletico Madrid. It's a lovely ball forward. It's Martins here. Martial covering. He's running out of stamina. Oh, and he just went right through. 1-1. One, one. An away goal there for Atletico Madrid. Two more. We're back to our same spot, though. Two more. This time won't take its extra time. It'll take Atletico Madrid through. And just before halftime, 40 minutes gone. They've given us a lead in... He went around and uh, went. That was so bad defending wise, but the finish was really good. 1 1. Nice uh, for Salco. It's going to come back to him. It's a lovely cut back, and wow, what a huge save by Donnarumma there to keep it at a two goal margin. That was a big old save. Let's come to Kane. A bit lucky. We'll take it. Coming forward, Iannaccio. Coming around, Iannaccio coming around, has a hit, oh what a finish that time, Iannaccio heard me about his finishing, get in, it's a big old finish, 
from Ian Nacho there. 2 1 4 1 on aggregate, and Atletico Madrid need three now in a half hour. Very, very tough stuff. Look at this finish. It's a good run, but the finish is something else. Look how hard he hit that, and right into the side. No chance whatsoever from O Black. Look how hard he hit that, and it's just past O Black barely before he can move. 2 1 4 1 on aggregate. On Yama. The ex Tottenham player, and he puts in a good ball. And wow, what a huge save. Oh, and he could have walked back and clipped that up, but he decided. Uh, he decided to dive for it, miss, and then it rolled into the net. Mandzukic got high. Oh, God damn. 2 2, 4 2 on aggregate. They need two more in 20 minutes, but this is going to make it a little bit more annoying. And he's deflected up in the air, and he's going to win that header. And oh, he could have run back and collected that difficult difficult two 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 goals 20 minutes nice good run deli alley y'all that's a lovely ball ian hacho no oh that would have possibly been it oh ian nacho ian nacho nice ian nacho again oh ian nacho cannot finish i swear jesus He's put one of the they put the hardest chance away so far. Rabio does well enough, gets it back. It's Rabio to hit it, and there it is. There's game over, tie over. What a strike from Rabio right into the corner, and we're through. Through to the round of eight. Look at this finish right here. Smash that. No chance whatsoever for Old Black. An unbelievable strike from Rabio, And he has surely sealed this here. 5-2 on aggregate. Coming down the pitch here. Not too much time to go here. Two minutes. And we are going into the round of eight in this Champions League. As we hook it clear. And into the final eight. Anything can happen. We wanted to win this tournament. This is the tournament we wanted to win this second season we won the other tournaments the fa cup the carabao cup last year we won the premier league though we're still fighting for the premier league right now we're ahead by three points in that as well as paris move on into the final eight excuse me so let's see what we've got here is that game is aggregate aggregate so atletico and paris are done we were the first teams to play so hopefully as wolves grab themselves a point against real madrid hopefully we can get ourselves into a decent spot. But we've got Huddersfield at the weekend. That'll be next episode. And then in here somewhere should be our next Champions League tie. One of these two days. As next will be Huddersfield. Most likely a Champions League game or tie. And then um, Arsenal who are fourth. Whereas you can see three points out of United. We also have the goal difference. And uh, hopefully it turns out pretty well guys but i hope you folks have enjoyed this episode stay tuned for more we've only got a couple episodes left not too many to go but that's it for now guys peace